Hey guys, welcome back to Javon Rule 16. I am your host Javon, and today we have a brand new benchmark. We're testing out Assassin's Creed 3 for the Xenia emulator. That's right, we're testing out an Xbox 360 game again. Today we're running some Intel Core i7-4790 with the AMD RX 570 4GB VRAM graphics card. Always great stuff when I try to run these games on my computer. Um, it's an Assassin's Creed game, so we know pain is about to begin. I ran with 16GB of DDR3 RAM and dual channel memory. It's quite particular. I, I couldn't actually play the game from the, e the XEX file. I had to run it, it to through something else. World, but I mean, it ran. It home. came on, Sometimes but... Obviously, I don't ever expect these things to run properly. Assassin's Creed seems to be very demanding, and it hasn't reached the point yet. Now, I have to preface this and let you guys know. This is simply to show you the progress of the emulator. This, boy this is no not to play Assassin's Creed 3. Stop saying it's on PC. <laughs> I'm just showing you my whole... My, that's, that's literally my channel. My channel is to benchmark games. That's literally what I do. That's all I do, okay? I want to show you what... I want to test all emulator games on my channel. Xenia, RPC, History, and Yuzu. So I'll play even thing that's even on PC just to show you the progress of the emulator. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this though. Don't forget please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. The guys were really on me on the Tales of Zestiria video. I was there like, guys, come on. I, I, I just said, I only do it to show you the progress of the emulator. Literally all I do it for. Nothing else. Even longer if you believe so I can tell you right now the intro cutscene's working. After all, I, this actually gives I've me a good timing. The then I can actually show you. That's the beauty and the horror oh, of the well, I guess I'll do it after. A device that allows it's it's just interesting though. We didn't run it from the XEX DXE file. We had to run from the, some other XEX file, but it was up until its creation. It, it began with S. It was like Smitzer or something. But we couldn't run it through the Assassin's Creed one. It doesn't work that way. You have to run it through the second one. But there's only so much. As a Smitzer or whatever its name is. Have the upper hand these days. Trust me, you'd know, because there's two of them in in the folder for Assassin's Creed Three. Bigger than all of us, and if we can't find a way to I, I kind of want to. I I I, I, I allowed the intro cutscene to play because I don't know if the game's gonna the run. But I'm still uploading this video to, <laughs> to show progress or not. So I'm like, hey, let the intro play. If the intro works, let the intro play, man. I can't skip it. Because Assassin's Creed 3 doesn't want you to skip crap. For some reason or another. But we'll see how far it gets. I'm just going to mute myself until we get into game. I'll see you guys in a bit. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches. December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring. Only that this is where they want us to be. When it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to... I ain't gonna lie, I forgot how long that intro is. Legitimately, forgot how long that intro was. But hey, it's running! That was an intro cut. That was actually a cinematic just now that ran. Hey, here we're in a cinematic. This is not. This is in-game cutscenes. Now, once again, this is the first time I'm testing the game. Obviously, because I didn't realize that the cutscene was so long. This is the first time I'm playing it, so it will compile shaders. Those black lines are an issue. Those aren't the thing. So there's a glitch right there. But let's see what the gameplay looks like. I guess I remember you get to at least walk. Yeah, they really should have added skip buttons back then, dude, for these cutscenes. That dragged for too damn long. Let's go. Here we go. Yeah, I remember. I don't think you can even pause during this section. Will it crash? Will it crash as it gets the game? It crashed. Well, there you go, guys. That was Assassin's Creed 3. Well, that was completely pointless, wasn't it? <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.